guys, hello and welcome everyone back to another YouTube video. Now guys, today we are going to be fixing the main problem on my M5 and that is the tyres. They are absolutely shot. They are really old, cracked Pilot Super Sport tyres. Now as you know, with cars, tyres are key, especially when you've got like nearly 600 brake horsepower. So because we're getting new tyres in about an hour or so, I think we should send the old ones off. I do it again. So boys and girls, we are now back at home. I've got a couple things I want to do before we go get the new tyres. I'm just going to fill up the car with screen wash and I'm also going to put new Bosch wiper blades on because these wiper blades aren't that good and you can't go wrong with brand new wiper blades. And then we'll load the tyres in the car and then go to the tyre shop. So it's not really interesting, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So we're trying to fit the new wipers, and apparently you've got to put it in some sort of service mode. Because at the minute, we cannot lift these wipers up. But apparently, we tried it just a minute ago and it didn't work because we tried the ignition on. But apparently, if you hold this up, it should go into service mode. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Talk it down. Come on. Why is it not working? Ah. There we go. We got it, finally. Boom, just like that, the tyres are now in the back. And I've also got my mate Jess over there in his 320D. He's got to take two tyres because they are literally too big. And I've even got one in the boot as well. So uh, yeah, let's go get the tyres on. Hopefully I can film them a little bit in there. And then after, once the tyres are on, I've got something pretty special lined up. So this video is all about fixing problems on the BMW M5, which leads me perfectly onto today's sponsor, which is Carly. Now Carly is a proper handy piece of kit. It basically allows you to do manufacturer grade diagnostics, use car checks, track life parameters and status of your car, unlock hidden features, basically means coding, and also reset service intervals. Now the Carly device itself is actually super portable so you can leave it in your car um, just in case you want to do any diagnostics or anything like that. Um, but in the box it comes in a little sort of um, easy guide on how to get set up and also the Carly device itself, really small, as I said, just leave it in your glove compartment, and then you know you can code your friends' cars, you can code your own cars. If you're driving along and a fault comes up, you can you know check it. But yeah, it's as simple as plug it into the OBD port. So there we go, mine is now plugged in, and then go onto the app store and download the app. Once you've downloaded the app, simply open it, turn the car on. Now, as you can see here, I've got the app loaded and it kind of gives you a little bit of information about the features, but we'll get into that in a second. Now you want to select your current vehicle, and once you've done that, click connect at the bottom click connect and then it will automatically you don't even need to connect your Bluetooth to the, the adapter you just go on the app and it does it all itself there we go it is now connected and it's processing the vehicle's data and there we go we're in now in so now we're all connected to the car as you can see here we can do a health check which we'll do in a second we can do customization we can do used car check and live data now, I'm only going to show you a few features because you know this there's like, if you go on features here there's loads of features on here and you've got like the main dashboard over here and um, there's so much you can do seriously so much you can do like service resets battery resets so yeah let's go on to the customization part of it so uh, here it tells you kind of what you can do um, and continue coding and then check coding possibilities and what the, what this will do is scan for all the ECUs in the car um, I believe there's about 13 on this car but depending on your sort of model and your year and what car you've got depends on how much you can code and what ECUs are available and stuff like that but it's all dependent on the car um, I've actually gone on this car already and I've coded loads of things already on Carly so I won't be able to I won't do any more today but there's one thing I do want to code actually which is the start stop because at the minute whenever you come up to the traffic so when you get in the car you have to click the start stop button off for it to stay off so this will basically allow for me to just get in the car and the light will be on because then i don't have to ever touch the start stop because who likes start stop absolutely nobody but anyway now it is loaded here it tells you, you can do like dashboard coding heads up display light mirrors locking um seat belt video motion legal disclaimers anti-theft system loads of things so today we're going to go into the cast and here you can see it says read out your cast or 
or CAS, however you want to say it, or restore. Now, whenever you code something with Carly, it creates a backup. So for if, if whatever reason, on the rare occasion the sign goes wrong, you've always got your backup in the sort of garage, they call it. Um, so yeah, you can restore it. Or if you go through and you change like a hundred settings and you're like, I have no idea why this is doing that, this is doing that, just restore it and you can go doing in, things individually. But for now, we're gonna go read out CAS. So this, as I said, is gonna create a backup of all the coding data at the moment. There you go, backup created. And here we go, so at the top straight away, I kind of knew it was here because I've obviously had a look around and I've already done loads of coding as it is. Like I've coded the mi like I've coded the mirrors so they fold in on the button, all sorts. So here we go, you got coding start, stop memory and start, stop automatically off. Um, and down here, look, I mean, you've got Sony Easy Entry, you've got um, Mars, there's just so many features. And this is just on one ECU, remember? So there's just so many features. And then if you go into another ECU, you've got loads more. The possibilities with this is endless, really. Um, but anyway, let's just code the start, stop. So we click code now, agreed, code now. This is now coding the, um, the ECU. Now, you do expect a few things to sort of come up because it's obviously coding the ECU. So engine lights and warnings do come up, but obviously they do go. So there we go, coding was successful. Please turn off the ignition, turn on again. Please do not update the car's software. So we'll click OK. So now it says turn the car off. We'll turn it off fully. And there we go, and we'll turn it back on again. And there we go, start stop is off from default, which I think is pretty cool. And I think that's a must have. Every single BMW needs that, because it's so annoying. Now, the other one you can do is use car check, which is pretty cool. So if you're gonna buy a new car, for example, you can take the car adapter, plug it in, and see whether or not it's had any mileage fraud or had any issues in the past that might not come up on the dash, um, and this will kind of tell you what that is. And also you can do live data, as I said before, so you can see like the RPMs, the oil temperature, outside ambient temperature, there's, there's, there's so many sort of features. But the next one I'm gonna do is the health check. So let's click on this and then click check for issues. Now this will take a few minutes and this is gonna go through all the ECUs and see whether or not there's been any minor faults come up since whenever it was last cleared, I suppose. And what you can do is, I, I do expect it to probably come up with a fair few issues um, because it's not been checked in a little while. There we go, it's already found five issues. And basically what you can do is once you've found the issues, you can then clear the codes and after a few days, scan it again and uh, hope those codes haven't come back because sometimes, I mean, new cars just have little blips every now and again. So you are gonna expect to find a fair few issues. Now, as I said, Carly works for all different cars. I've also got my daily, which I've used it for that as well, and cleared a few codes on that and checked the mileage and everything like that on that. So that's pretty cool. Um, and also, if I get a new car in the future, I can do some coding straight away with it, some easy coding. My friends want some, you know, their car code or whatever. Um, I can do that too. It's a, it's a really cool piece of kit. So there we go. So it's saying here that the, the health status is pretty bad, but I kind of imagine that. Um, because obviously, you know, it's a, quite an old car and also it's probably not been cleared in a little while, so things just happen. So I'm sure if we clear this and they'll check it in a few days time, half of these will probably not even come back, if not a bit more. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the car that I'm aware of anyway, so these are probably just going to be glitches. But here we go, this it basically explains what is wrong with the car, um, and then down here says what is all okay. So what we could do here is click clear issues, and this will just go through and clear all the codes it's just found, and start on a clean canvas, so then if you drive again. Um, so now, for example, if we check in a few days time, they're the ones that actually need sorting, because they're, you know, the ones that are not stored. So there we go, it's now clear and it even says here you can repeat the check now or remind me in three days. So you can literally get a reminder in three days time, which I think is pretty cool. So we'll close that anyway. And now the codes are all clear, which is brilliant. Now at the top as well, it actually gives you a rough estimate of what it thinks you've saved from buying this rather than going to a garage to get it scanned and coded and stuff like that. So according to mine, it says I've saved 555 euros. Um, which, you know, is pretty cool that it actually tells you like a rough estimate of how much it would cost to go do these sort of things. Because obviously, I haven't just done what I've done in the video, I've done a bit of coding to this already, and I've also done stuff on my daily as well. So, you know, you do save a bit of money. And then once you're done, click on connected and click disconnect, and there we go, you can pull out the adapter. As simple as that. Now, I just want to say a massive thank you for Carly for sponsoring today's video. I really do appreciate it, because it's actually a proper cool product. Um, so, and it, you know, to say I've been sponsored by Carly is, you know, a real big achievement for me. So I really do appreciate the support, guys. Um, if you want to go ahead and check out more information and want to pick up yourself one, click the link down below in the description to get yourself 15% off. But once again, thank you for sponsoring the video. Let's get back into the rest of the video. About to leave. 
already packing Come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we will so boys and girls, the tyres are now done and you find me on a bit of a runway. Yeah, no, perfect sort of scenario. The tyres aren't that warm, but they should grip up anyway. Um, so what we'll do is put the car into sport and we will put it in MDM so it's not full traction off because I don't want it to just send me sideways. But hopefully it should go okay. So we're gonna let the car do it itself. We're gonna put it into normal drive. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna plant it. All right, so cars in sport. Let's let's see how uh, let's see how well it grips up. So you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's strong. That is so strong. Woo! That is. These tires have absolutely made this car. I'm not even joking. This 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 car is completely different now. I, I've been driving it the past few days. Um, and I just can't get over how well this thing handles now. Like, I never realized how much different a set of tires would make, would make a car. It handles so much better now. It's, oh, it just handles absolutely brilliant. And yes, I am going around a bit of a track, um, but I, you know, I'm not, I'm not meant to go properly quick around here, but I just want to say a massive thank you to Track Days Cornwall for allowing me to uh, to come down here. I'll put all the links and stuff in the description down below, but um, yeah, let's see what it does here, look. Oh, oh proper, it's, it, it properly grips up now. Like before, I had old Supersport tires, as you know, now I've got the Michelin PS4 uh, S tires. It just grips so well, like ridiculously well. So uh, let's do another one on the straight and see how we get on. So I'm gonna leave MDM off for the minute. Let's just see how she goes. Full throttle, full throttle. Cut the power, cut the power. Oh, that's strong. That is, oh. <laughs> This thing is ridiculously quick. Absolute monster. What a machine. Well, once again, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and also, massive thank you to Carly for sponsoring the video. It's just, I, I just appreciate all the support at the minute. I'm, I'm really enjoying making the videos, and uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying them. But other than that, I should catch you guys very soon in a brand new video.